Hello, this is Larry again, and once again, it's time for my vlog journey update. I am here for, I believe, my fifth video. It's the one month mark since I've been on this uh, no carb or low carb diet. Um, I've been in here a couple weeks ago to go to a my first um. Uh, support meeting and I weighed then and at that point I had been on the carb no carb diet for like a little over two weeks and I had only lost four pounds I was kind of hoping for more because at that rate my slim slow diet I was losing more weight so this would be about the month maybe, maybe a little bit more than a month and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna weigh I really hope that I'm um, I'm down at least 10 more pounds or 6 more pounds, but I don't have a whole lot of faith on that one. Um, I've been doing decently well on the no-carb no diet, um, at least I thought I was. When I left here, I told the dietitian that I was switching from my Coke Zero, which I, I start to love now. I was switching from that to the um, sugar-free Kool-Aid, and she probably thought that I meant... Uh, uh, crystal light or something like that it has no carbs actually what I meant was I was doing lemonade flavored uh, Kool-Aid but instead of regular sugar I was putting um, like a Splenda knockoff I figured okay there's not going to be hardly any carbs and the label is really um, misleading on that the, the, uh, the uh, nutrition facts it says there's .5 carbs per serving I'm like well that's practically nothing, you know? But a serving is one teaspoon. Either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Whichever one is the smaller one, yeah, that's what it is. And when I'm cooking my cooking, when I'm making my Kool-Aid at home, I do, I think it's four quarts, one big gallon jug. And I usually put two uh, scoops of uh, sweetener, su uh, sugar substitute in there. Well... After it's all said and done, that's about 50 grams of, uh, of, of carbs. So about three weeks into my diet, I finally figured out that that was not what I was supposed to be doing. So I switched to the uh, great value version of Slim, of, um, of, uh, Crystal Light. So I've been drinking that primarily and some Coke Zero. For the last week and a half, two weeks. So that's where I am with that right now. So I don't know if cutting out a lot of carbs is going to make me burn fat. I don't think it has. I mean, every now and again, I'd have what I call a carb carb cheat meal. I think I've had three of those in the last month. Though not a lot, not bad. I mean, used, back in the day, I'd have cheat days where I'd eat... Between 35 to 4,500 calories. That's back when I was supposed to be counting calories, and God knows how many carbs was in that. So uh, every now and again, I think I think my first cheat meal was chicken, fried chicken from churches, and some McDonald's French fries. That was the only carbs I had, and that's quite a bit. But I mean, there ain't too much in chicken, but potatoes, nothing but carbs, and it's just all jacked up when I was craving it. On the second time I cheated, I think it was similar. And this last time was McDonald's. They have chicken wings, which has some carbs and it has some, like, some breading in it. So it's not too bad. I think it's like 20 carbs for the 10 piece order. That's not terribly bad. But uh, the first time I had that, second, first time I had that, I didn't have any french fries with it. It was okay. The second time I had that, I had fries and, you know, potatoes and carbs and stuff like that. The third time I had that was just the wings. Like I said, then that's not terrible on carbs. It's not great, and I probably need to cut it out. She's probably going to tell me I need to switch all my uh, carbs and meats, which I've been having a lot of meats lately. Probably need to switch it all to lean meat, which... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to do my best to go with this program. It's kind of disheartening knowing that I uh, lose more weight with my... Um, fruit heavy, you know, a lot of fruits in my slim slow diet. I lost more weight doing that than I am with a no carb, but I'm going to stick with it. And um, I'm getting ready to go in there and see the, the dietitian and see what the weight is and see what how she's going to yell at me. She ain't going to yell at me, but I mean, then when I come back out, 
I will know how much I've lost, if any, and I will give you another report. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.